What's up, gang, man? It's your boy, Sith Lord Zeke, man. And we back in this thing with a red note for uh, deck profile. Promised you guys that I will bring a deck profile for you uh, earlier uh, after the release of the leaks. And here it is. I have it. I've been working on it. Um, some of the cards, um, they were okay, like uh, Red Nova. I wanted to add Red Nova in. Uh, it was, um, it, it involves a specific combo. I think we don't have a certain card for it. Um, <clears throat> the only card that I found that I was really able to add was Crimson Resonator. That actually made sense. It was more consistent uh, versus the other cards uh, versus the uh, Chain Resonator. Uh, chain resonator is actually a good card but it, it takes up your normal summon and uh, you have to have a synchro on field uh, so the card was actually too specific uh, which is why we went ahead and, and went with the uh, crimson resonator it's just the crimson resonator it does the same thing it, it summons from the deck uh, while you control a synchro monster um, but the difference between crimson and red is that uh, I mean, Crimson and, and Chain is that uh, Crimson is actually one level higher and Crimson actually special summons itself onto the field. So uh, it can still allow you to use your Red Resonator to uh, special summon any monster in your hand onto the field uh, like Witch of the Black Forest and uh, um, Red Warg. I mean, not Red Warg. Yeah, Red Warg or uh, Wandering King Wildwind. So uh, these cards made more sense. You want to uh, make sure that you are giving the deck uh, increasing what the deck already does and makes it make it better or make it faster. Um, so we didn't want to like really just go. I found myself going out of the way with Crimson Resonator and Red Nova. And so that's why I'm not playing them. Um, so, yeah, uh, here's the deck profile. Uh, but we, we run red one red war uh, two uh, wandering king wild winds uh, it made sense to play this ratio uh, of uh, two uh, wild wind and three uh, witch of the black forest because which could actually search the wild wind so um, you know it, it just made more sense to me at this you know at this point um, so now we're running three of the Witch of the Black Forest, and then we have the three Crimson Resonators, uh, and we have two Red Resonators. Um, and so the reason I'm running this ratio is three and two is because, uh, like I said earlier, Crimson uh, pretty much just summons himself to the field, um, and Red Resonator actually normal summons himself to the field and special summons a monster from the hand, so he's ex he, he extends from the... He, he helps you get a monster uh, from your hand onto the field, but uh, I believe Crimson is, is way better because, it, like I say, it special summons itself, uh, and then Wandering King Wildwind actually special summons him himself, so you can find yourself uh, spamming the board with monsters and not even using your normal summon just yet, uh, so that's actually crazy. Um, yeah, so uh, two red resonators. Like I say, he you know summon him to the field, and then he can summon any one of these monsters from your hand. Uh, and then we have the resonator call. So we run these at three. This is your search of the deck. So basically, you're running like uh, two, three, four, five red resonators, and like six crimson resonators. And so you always have a way to actually get to this card, um, it, and it's pretty consistent. Sometimes you might brick or whatever like that, but I mean, you know, that's why we're playing uh, 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 Book of Moon. Uh, we run this at two, and then we have the res uh, Resonant Destruction to pop cards on the field. And then we have the Windstorm of Atequay, At 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 uh, however you say it, to uh, put your opponent's monsters in defense. That way, if you attack with Red Dragon Archfiend, I know it's kind of gimmicky, it's kind of like, kind of cartoonish, but... It's a way to put all of the monsters in, in defense and next turn if you get the chance you could just pop off and, and, and just pretty much destroy the whole field uh, if you attack a red dragon arch fiend uh, and then we have the two fiendish chain i was thinking about running this at three maybe take out the uh, windstorm uh, this is i was uh thinking in a in a, in a, in a mind frame of like um uh harvey's is just right really the best deck right now this deck wouldn't really have a hard time against, um, well, it would have a hard time against Blue Eyes, but um, it, it, I think Harpies, I was just thinking like, 
from a, a harpy standpoint because this is the top deck right now so you really want to like negate those um those uh slashes and you want to be able to flip them down and then you want to like you can flip them down and then you can you know proceed with your play and then activate resonant destruction and then just pretty much pop a lot of the cards on the field and so this is just my choice uh, of, uh, of, of um, traps to play in this deck so yeah uh on to the main deck i mean to the uh side i mean to the extra deck i'm sorry uh we're running uh two red nova dragons uh i'm not sure if you'll be able to get both of them out but it's just in case uh one of these guys get uh banished uh because i don't know it's just it just feel easy to put them out on the board <clears throat> okay and then we have the uh hot red dragon arch fiend bane uh, Bane allows you to, once you inflict, inflict damage to your opponent, you can special summon out two resonators, and then you could actually tribute on the next turn. If, if he survives your opponent's turn, on the next turn, you could actually um, uh, tribute himself to summon Red Dragon Archfiend from the graveyard, and then you can use those two resonators to go into your uh, Red Nova Dragon. Uh, and so now that leads us to uh, Red Dragon Archfiend. Uh, run two red dragon arch fiends just in case anything happens to it um, You know, you know what this card does, you know it Destroys one monster in defense and if the rest are in defense it destroys the, it destroys those as well And if your mo your monster didn't attack this turn, it's gonna destroy anything that just didn't attack this turn uh, And then we have the red rising dragon uh, red rising dragon is pretty good uh, You get him out on the field and then he special summons back a resonator from the graveyard either one uh, crimson or red resonator and red resonator will um, special summon out another resonator from the deck um, op the opposite of his name or not the opposite of his name any any resonator besides its name and uh, it can summon our red resonator and then you just increase your life points by 2100 and then you'll be able to go into uh, uh, red dragon arch fiend and then you'll be able to go into a uh, hot red dragon arch fiend bane this is just in case um your red nova play doesn't uh doesn't go as well the first turn and you end up getting stuck with uh just trying to get yourself into position but yeah guys this is the deck uh i got two dual replays uh where i actually play people and yeah so let's get into it all right go to replay so this is replay number one <laughs> all right so our opponent's gonna start out with um what is this uh, what's this skill uh master of destiny so basically he just gets to um he gets the chance to just flip coins and then like activate his effect his effects just automatically happen because of coins i'm gonna start out with um uh, special summoning a crimson resonator and then I'm gonna special summon the, um, the wandering king wild wind gonna go into this uh, red rising dragon gonna activate his effect to special summon out uh, crimson's crimson's effect is gonna activate red's gonna red's effect is gonna activate I'm gonna gain the 21 uh, special summoning out the um, red dragon arch fiend I'm sorry yeah, I'm trying to keep up uh, then I normal summon. If you guys uh, realize, I didn't even normal summon this turn. So then I normal summon the uh, uh, red uh, resonator. I'm gonna resume. Boom. And then I'm going to set the Book of Moon. My monster is at 5,000. He can't be targeted or destroyed. Uh, he can't be destroyed by card effects. Card gains 500 attack for each. Yeah. Your opponent. Uh, let me see. In your graveyard, cannot be destroyed by an opponent's card effects. Uh, yeah so and then when your opponent declares an attack I can just negate the attack and banish my monster so our opponent is gonna set a card and he's gonna set gonna activate a cup of ace gonna draw two cards uh, using this skill and then I'm gonna draw into resonant destruction gonna activate wandering king's effect and add the crimson uh, resonator and he just scoops I guess he just realized he didn't have um, anything to get over 5,000, and then he pretty much just couldn't destroy me, I guess. So, all right, that was game number one. Game number two. All right, so my opponent's going to start out with uh, Photon Lead. He's going to summon out 
two photon thrashers special summoning a galaxy photon dragon all right i'm gonna set two traps and activate resonate a call i'm gonna add a resonate to my hand as you can see this hand brick and then i set book of moon passing it back to my opponent He's gonna set a card. He didn't have much. I'm gonna activate Book of Moon to uh, flip his monster down because I know that this card is probably like um, what is that card? The card where you banish. Um, uh, I don't I don't know what this card is. <laughs> actually, I'm surprised it didn't like actually flip, but um, it won't flip in the replay. But um, yeah, I believe this is destruction, uh, photon destruction, or something like that. Photon stream of destruction, I believe. Okay, so I'm gonna grab a uh, a, a wandering king wild wind, and I'm going to special summon out my crimson resonator, and then I'm gonna special summon out wild uh, wind, and then I'm gonna activate uh, red rising dragon's effect to special summon the uh, crimson resonator. Crimson resonator's effect gonna activate, and then I'm gonna special summon out a uh, Red Resonator gonna gain 2100 life points going into the uh, Red Resonator. Was that who I went to? Yeah, okay. Uh, and then we're gonna go into uh, Red Nova Dragon uh, with our two back row cards. Gonna attack into his monster, destroy it. He's gonna set a monster. And I'm gonna, he's gonna pass it back to me. Got Crimson Resonator gonna activate the Wandering King, adding the crim another Crimson Resonator to my hand. Just trying to thin out the deck and get the cards that I need to fast, as fast as I can. I'm gonna attack into his monster in orbital. Uh, he gains a counter. Gonna set another monster and I'm gonna draw into another fiendish chain. These chains are gonna lock him down. Uh, attack into a vot photon advancer and he just scoops. Uh, so yeah. Uh, I wish I could have got more duels for you guys. Um, Yeah, I wish I could have got more duels for you guys, man. But um, that was that was all that I could actually <laughs> find because uh, YG Omega right now is just it's just like kind of slow. Well, it's not really slow, but a lot of people are just not on it like that. But um, yeah, uh, as you can see, the deck can uh, be pretty pretty good. Um, the only problem is that you want to you don't want to just have Red Nova Dragon on the field. You know what I'm saying? So that's the only problem uh with it you want to try to get to other other cards as fast as you can which is why i want to add a uh uh what is it resonator call let me see uh, oh resonator engine i'm sorry resonator engine i want to add resonator i might re add resonator engine in uh later on instead of the uh windstorm because that card would allow me to uh that card would allow you to, to uh actually have a grind game with this deck you can send back uh two two resonators in your in your graveyard and then you can add a level four lore monster from the deck to your hand so uh be on the lookout for that card that card is um it could really it could it could really like help you with your um with your end game or your grind game uh like in the middle of the duel close to the end in end, end of the duel uh i wanted to play synchro call but i really just don't see any space for it just yet um and then i tried the uh forbidden dress uh to um i tried forbidden dress but forbidden dress is just way too slow you have to actually target your monster before you your opponent actually targets the monster so uh forbidden dress is kind of slow um but yeah synchro call um i want to like implement this in some kind of way but i just feel like it's kind of slow like we already running a um, fiendish chain and uh windstorm and and i feel like windstorm is, is like slow so uh yeah man i mean this is pretty much the deck you guys i uh, hope you guys enjoyed it i hope you guys can uh tweak it you guys comment down below uh what would you play would you play the um uh, chain resonator would you play um would you play uh synchron resonator um yeah man so this is pretty much it this is what i have for right now uh, i'm gonna keep playing with it and then i'm gonna upload more later on and then this way when the deck co actually comes out um we'll be pretty much ready uh for a new deck profile um yeah man so i, I hope you guys enjoyed it it's your boy sith lord zeke man and i'm out man peace